This video is brought to you by REP Gaming Products. Help protect your deck and support the show by picking up a steel deck box from the link down below. Hey everyone, welcome back to Commander Clash. We took a long break this time and ended the season. And now we're back with a brand new season of Commander Clash. So excited to be back. And as usual, every single time we have a season, a new season, we have a roster change. So the regular people who are going to be on the season are a little bit different. We did we did change it up a little bit. Uh, Tom and Jennifer are going to be sitting out this season, but they're going to probably show up again as guests or, or future seasons. We don't know yet. And taking their place is going to be Seth who basically showed up uh, to half the, the last season anyway. But welcome back, Seth. Hello. Uh, I'm excited to officially be back, even You're though it didn't, back, yeah. it didn't really feel like I actually left last season. So Yeah, you were uh, not really official, but regular uh, person from, from last season as the go-to uh, filler. Um, but glad to have you back as an, on an official capacity to, to be here most of the time. So thanks for coming back, Seth. And... We have a brand new player to the Commander Clash crew. It is Vincent, also known as Pleasant Kimo No. Uh, oh my goodness! What? <laughs> <laughs> Should I just refer yeah. to you as, as Pleasant K Kenobi? Yeah, you can call me Kenobi or Vince. Vince is also perfectly fine. So yeah, hi guys, I'm Vince, also known as Pleasant Kenobi on the internet, and I am honored to be on Commander Clash this season to, uh, well, just have a regular EDH play group with some fun people. I'm just going to leave... I'm just going to leave it like that and see what the editor does with it. So... <laughs> <laughs> have fun. Um, Alright, so... We got a new we got a new crew for the season. Let's talk about the decks first. And let's wait, wait, them. you just left me out, Tober. Oh, hey, Richard. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm the fourth unappreciated guest. Wait, they all know you're already, already here. Probably better known as Richard. I was introducing the new people to the crew. You're 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 always here. You're the standby, Richard. You're always here. You're a rock to the crew. The, the abacus the abacus never <laughs> the forgets abacus. Tomer already before we started the season you have a strike alright so it's me Tomer Seth Richard and Vince this is your your regular crew for the season obviously we're gonna have guests and fills and all that good stuff as usual but this is our regular crew for this season and with that out of the way let us hop into what decks we're running. So we're doing Anything Goes for the, the beginning of the season. And Seth, what deck are you bringing today? So I am playing a Selenia Dark Angel deck. And this, uh, you might remember if you've been watching Commander Clash for a long time, in one of the first seasons, we did like a team episode. And uh, I was playing like this life loss deck and Richard was trying to gain back the life and it went really badly. But this is, <laughs> this is kind of another attempt at trying to lose my own life total and then hopefully use my low life total to win the game somehow. Uh, yeah, I, I remember I remember that attempt as well. And I also remember I, I wrote a budget commander on Selenia 2, and I attempted to run her in Commander Clash as well. And it also didn't end up working out well, so I'm kind of rooting for you this time because I do love Selenia. I kind of want to see her do her thing, but at the same time, I'm also going to try and kill you. So we'll see and how that pans out. We've got some sweet new additions, so there's some yeah. good new cards from recent sets that maybe will make Selenia different this time. I, I, I hope to I hope it works out well, and I'm excited to see what new cards you bring to the deck. All right, next up, we've got Richard. What deck are you running? All right, I've been playing a lot of Hour of Devastation draft on Magic Arena, <laughs> and there's one card that I've always wanted to make work, which was Fraying Sanity... It's a mill enchantment, and I was never able to force mill successfully in Hour of Devastation Draft, so I've decided to bring mill to Commander Clash instead. Oh, I no. have a Phanax God of Deception deck. I, uh. I've actually played one quite a long time ago. It was one of my first Commander decks, actually. Now it's been updated with all the new cards and everything I know about Commander. So this is my new take on my mill deck, and I'm going to try to mill people out. 100 card decks are hard to mill, but we, we have some tools to get there, so we're going to try it out today. 
There are definitely tools in Fenix. I would not never uh, count them out. Um, Mill, huh? We haven't seen that in a long, long time on Commander Clash, but yeah. Uh, I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared this week. I don't know if the Moonfolk are gonna, or uh, whatever deck that I'm playing is gonna hang out. But anyway, uh, very cool. Haven't seen Mill in a long time. And uh, next up, we got Vince. What are you running? Well, I almost, almost played Zadek Lord of Secrets today, so I'm glad I didn't, because two mill decks at the table might have been a, a bit absurd. So I'm playing Rafik of the Many. This is one of my favourite paper commanders that I've played a lot, so people who've actually played with me in my local paper playgroups back in the day will remember me playing this. Um, there's lots of new toys, because I haven't really sleeved it up properly for a good year or two now. Um, so I'm, I'm bringing two plans to the table. I'm bringing Rafik of the Many Beatdowns, so I'm going to be equipping him up and slamming into people. Um, my secondary plan, if that doesn't go to plan, because there's, I don't know, propagandas in play and other such nonsense, is just Rafik of the Many Value. So I've got quite a few value engines and ways to, to hopefully just grind people out with more cards than everyone else, because I'm playing the best colour combination in Magic. That's fair. Thanks. I would I would agree with that. Oh, it's not Grixis, so I don't know. Well, it's got it's got white in it, so it's it's, it's got to be better than Grixis, right? <laughs> uh, not not, not uh, too sure about that, but I I, what, I think this is the first time we have ever had a white player on any season of Commander Clash. White is usually the last color pick, so it's going to be really interesting to have Vince here this season because that's like <laughs> your color, right? Mm. Yeah, I absolutely love white weenie and, and white decks in general. The problem is that commanders wear white's probably at its worst, mm. but I've got some. I've even got mono white decks in the works for later on, perhaps. So yeah, hopefully I can represent white as it as it deserves as the as the second or possibly best color in Magic. Yeah, I think Jennifer was best known for her reanimation strategies, but also her mono white staxy type stuff usually got us pretty well. So. It's it's nice seeing that mono white or white uh, white player is actually representing uh, the table um, this this season because yeah we're, we we definitely are on the dirty side at least me and Seth are so we we gotta have some some balance here and Rafiko the many I know him as like one of the original bo boogeyman he's like one of the original Voltron commanders of the format um, but at the same time I don't think we've ever seen him played on Commander Clash, so that's going to be neat. That, that, that isn't correct, Toma. Episode 7. Episode oh, 7? Toma. Oh, no. There you go. Episode there you seven. go. Oh. You Tromping at your own Commander Clash knowledge. I, I googled it a week or so ago. That, okay. That's how I know. Okay. <laughs> I didn't just remember the every appearance of Rafik in any video ever. Fair. Alright, so maybe it's the second time he's ever shown up, which is kind of also kind of interesting, because we have a lot of episodes at this point. Yeah. <laughs> good, good recovery, Tomer. Good recovery. We'll edit it to sound good. <laughs> anyway, uh, last but not least, it's me. Hi, it's Tomer. And uh, I ran a Twitter poll to see what you all wanted me to run. I gave uh, my Twitter followers the option between tribal werewolves and tribal moonfolk. And it was a very close race down to the wire. But with 51% of the votes, tribal moonfolk wins. So that. That's what I'm running. It's it's not a good deck. I will I will admit that it's uh the the, the Moonfolk tribe has never had a lot of support. Um, there's only 14 Moonfolk total in the game right now, and there's only one Moonfolk support card, Patron of the Moon. Wait, which what? Is You're be playing tribal with 14 creatures? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? I mean, the? it's okay. So I'm running the Moonfolk, and I'm not going to be going as a uh, traditional tribal deck with like the Urza's Incubators and the Kindred cards and all that stuff but I am running a deck that is solely built around what the Moonfolk are doing and they have basically, they all have activated abilities that re require you to pay mana and return a land from your the battlefield to your hand to do something what they do is not great but I mean they try so the entire <laughs> deck is built around that concept and you'll see hopefully as long as i don't get one shot by rafiq in the first five turns hopefully i get to show off what what the deck does so with the deck overviews out of the way let's hop into the game all right let's hang on hang on hang on i might have fell asleep or been just blindly not paying attention but aren't you moonfolk tribal Toma? <laughs> Uh, I am running the Moonfolk, yes. Oh, no! Is so this the so wrong what deck? is that? It's the wrong deck! Oh, no! What? Wait, what? what? Did you choose the wrong deck? Yes! 
What oh deck did God. you choose? <laughs> I'm supposed to be patron of the this is like an older version. Here we go. I will. <laughs> so you want to redo the intro or what? Uh, no, we're 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 jumping in, and we're just here's going the game. For it. And who won the thing? Oh, I, I won the dive board again. Again, or well, no, you just did it for the first time, of course. Uh, how's your hand looking? If everything has changed, <laughs> everything has changed. Um, this hand is is decent. I have a turn one play, which is nice. No ramp, but I, I think I, I'll get there. Risky keep. I'm gonna keep. <sighs> Here we go. Patron of the moon. <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm just gonna clarify. By the way, my my last hand was actually we had like four lands in it. I've just kept the two lander, and if I lose or just get stuck out of the game for this, I'm blaming Toma entirely. <laughs> for your greed? I, no, I, for having to restart! <laughs> but it was it's, worth it, because now I have all the same uh, artwork basic lands. Yeah, and that's there, what there really may counts. or may not have been a game before this where Toma chose the wrong commander. We'll see. We'll see what the editor does with that. The editor's got to keep it in because you've already talked about budget. You've already talked about loads of no, other no, bits. that's a different part. That's the intro part. <laughs> but we didn't God, talk we about budget chunks. in the intro. Oh, that's right. Oh yeah. So by what's, the way, what's happening budget. with our budget this season? <laughs> All right. If I didn't say this before, I'll say it now. <laughs> uh, we're not doing the usual um, budgets of the last seasons where we did basically twenty to thirty tickets, which is online currency for MTGO for our decks. Um, now, ooh, that's a moon folk. I'm gonna bottom that and bottom <laughs> that. <laughs> that's what? traditional tribal deck there, putting your They're tribe members to the bottom. They're not good cards. Um, yeah, so we're not doing the MTGO prices that we were doing last season. This time we're doing US dollar prices, and we're not having a hard limit on what our deck prices are going to be, but we are going to be staying away from cards that are about $100 and more so they're really expensive cards we're going to be staying away from but as you can see now we're going to be allowing stuff like shock lands and fetches and all that good stuff so we're going to have more consistent mana bases uh slightly more powerful decks in general oh my goodness what is going on with this deck oh uh, wrong, wrong, wrong version reload reload <laughs> reload Everyone reload concede oh man <laughs> i'm just drawing lands i even bought him with the land oh at least they're they're matching though are they, are they the lands <laughs> you put in uh, 38. That's my usual. Oh, this hand is so much worse than I would like it to be. <laughs> but you have a Godless Shrine. So oh, we're Abby. up to the most expensive card on my deck, I think. Quite literally the most expensive card in my deck. Ooh. Oh my goodness. So mean. Yeah. That is a Cavern of Souls. There are currently 80 tickets. I almost removed it because I'm just, I'm disgusted at how expensive it actually is. But that is uh, over a third of my deck's cost. That is brutal. As a blue player, I'm sad. We have our first legendary of the season. Hello, Xanatha. You're a pretty good card when I'm drafting. Hey, you don't like her in Commander? Um, I, I've played her in Commander. Oh, in my Tiana deck, yes. I've enjoyed playing her in my Tiana deck. I like to refer to her as Baby Batter Skull, but with first strike. There we go. Here is the not. What? what? This is not a. <laughs> what is this not card? A tribal card per se. So you are transmuting. So you or... get a one mana. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Because the moon folk you see have active abilities that cost mana, so I'm gonna try and make them less uh. bad. <laughs> So I've just gone from like not respecting your deck at all, Toma, because your commander is a seven mana uh, blue spirit uh, thing. But then training grounds is incredibly scary. Oh, you'll see. You should be afraid of the moon folk. They do very mysterious yet powerful things. Wall of blood. Okay. <laughs> oh my go. god. Speaking of that instant... way to kill yourself. Hang on, that's like an instant win with um. There, there are with... some good synergies. Yeah. Yeah, but my hand is horrible, so no, no fear. I mean, it's don't a... worry. I think mine oh. might be worse. Oh wow. my god, that's a sword. Protection from blue. Here we go. Toma, this is for the restart, my friend. <laughs> oh. Fair. Oh man, if I only had like Arcades, I could just one shot someone. That would be what? So... <laughs> With Wall of Blood, just pay all my life and attack. Oh, of course. But, oh, could you mm -hmm. back colors, I guess. 
That's but like, um, right. what's the what's the white enchantment of Gideon in the art where you win when you got one life? Ooh, uh, that is near death experience. Are you playing that? I maybe have near death experience in my deck. <laughs> is your deck just tutors <laughs> near death and wall of blood effects? No, there's more to it than that. Are you oh. gonna cast? Are you gonna cast the next turn and we just die? Is that how this works? No, it's like five mana, I, and I don't have it. So, dark ritual. There we go. Ew. So most of the moon folk are wizards. So I'm cool taking move. advantage. Cool moon folk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> There's 14 of them. All right. It's not like I can randomly just draw my a full hand of them. I, but also, I don't understand how that's our problem. You picked you picked the tribe. <laughs> no, it is it is a tribal deck. I am running the moon folk. It's just that there's not a huge quantity of them. And I may have bottomed one. <laughs> I was looking for ramp. My commander's coming out. Oh no. Uh not really turned on here. I'm a bit far from devotion. Just a bit. You're getting there. He Seth, counts did for you just two. Skip your turn. Yeah, I can't really do anything. I, my hand is is not good. You can, uh, you can holding up pay one blade? life to make your wall of blood larger. <laughs> that is uh, true. The sword! Oh boy. Build your own battle skull. Oh my goodness. This is already like ten times our, our last, last uh, season's budget. Oh yeah, so by the way guys, these are the two most expensive cards in my deck. Come on, Canopy and Cabin of Souls. <laughs> I think that's collectively 120 tickets. That's half my dex cost in two cards. Um, I'm sorry for the people at home that might be complaining in the comment section now that they don't like me because my deck's expensive. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're only going to complain if you kill my central tracer because I didn't read what uh, sort of fire dice does. Yeah. Kill, <laughs> kill it. You gotta kill it. If you do, YouTube's going to be sad. I will pump my YouTube's wall. YouTube's going to be sad. You gotta kill the single tracer. Uh, how did I not oh, read what I'm sort sorry. of fire dice I'm so yes. sorry. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that card seems oh good goodness. against your deck, Tomer. I, I literally can't do it. The Moon Folk are not a very uh, beefy tribe. <laughs> so, Stoneforge Mystic might be 40 bucks in real life, but it's only like four tickets online. So, we're back to budget stuff now, right? Uh, right? Well, Anyone? What are you fetching? Right? What are you fetching? Uh, Batterskull? <laughs> oh, um, GT? Oh. So, I Seth, have you go. have uh, those four mana rats ready, right? <laughs> I don't even have. <laughs> oh I don't even have four mana. Uh, that's another sword. Yeah. Mm. This is not. This is not going well. For the record, I'm not playing Gaius Cradle because I'm not a monster. <laughs> I will, mystifying maze. Ooh. No. <laughs> that's oh. a great answer. That's actually pretty good. What it's a on earth? Five mana answer. <laughs> It's still an You don't have though. five mana! You don't it have is. five mana! Okay. What? Well, no, you can activate it. Oh, it's like four. Yes, oh, four mana. Oh, sorry, away. sorry. It's yeah. five mana, including the land itself. Okay, yeah. in which case you do have the five mana, and I'm very sad. Okay, this sword is a problem. Right? It kind of kills everything and does lots of damage. And... What if I don't attack you with it? Mm, that That kind of works. I mean, you're also Should... still drawing a card every single time. I mean, you, you can strip mine the mystifying maze, and then I can hit Tomer again. Oh. Do you really want to help the Rafik player, Richard? Oh, oh! I have this card, but I think it just makes Vince go nuts, which I don't want to play. <laughs> what could that be? Mm, yeah, do I really what? want to pass with all this man of? What oh. could you have in blue-black that makes me go nuts? Oh. Yeah, I'm very curious. Like a cage sun for blue or something? Oh no no no! That would be a gauntlet power, but still. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pass. <laughs> is this an elaborate plan? I'm just gonna I'm pass just with all this meta. Is this removal and countless spells in hand? Is it? Good thing no one has a cavern of souls out. I do have a strip <laughs> and line. Stoneforge also dodges counter magic. <laughs> uh, okay, that is a land. Land Wrath, please. Hmm. Please. This is disgusting. It's also a tap land. I guess it's going <laughs> I, I guess it's going at you, Tomer, since Why? you have cards in your graveyard. You got cards in your graveyard. <laughs> I did not pick the, the right deck this week. Did that not pick the one. right deck. Anything goes. So I bought the, the manliest man in magic, Rafik. Hmm. 
If if Vince attacks me, are you gonna maze Tomer? I mean, I would not want him to draw cards. Well, yeah, you you're gonna maze <laughs> to stop the swords from going off. Okay. I guess I don't like this. I feel I, ganged up upon. I will trust in the maze. But if it doesn't attack me, then maybe that'll be enough. Uh, so then I'll maybe do other things with my mana. I, I'm not. I'm. A, I'm. Well. Um. Yeah. I don't believe you. <laughs> I'm going to have to, unfortunately, do this. A rogue's passage. Oh boy. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Sad. Oh. I mean, on the upside, I don't get to equip my feast and famine this turn. That's. So. Yeah, and you get a blocker, Tomer. That's not blue. <laughs> so that does mean I Excellent. have to attack. <laughs> Richard. Wait, no, wait, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I have to. I can't attack the other two. What? You can attack this wall. It's just a wall. I can, a wall yeah. I can pump it, though. Shh. <laughs> well. Go, Denitha. Show them your combat prowess. You gotta have something. You don't have anything, Richard? No. <laughs> oh. Uh, let's see. So I will take this hit. Richard, you're in blue and black. You gotta have answers. I'm a mill deck who's currently not milling very well. <laughs> or at all. I kind of want to shoot Seth to like spread it about, but I don't want to reduce his life total in case he just randomly wins. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, excellent. That's, yes, <laughs> please, please, shoot me for two. I mean, you, okay. can, you can reduce your life total to whatever. That might stop him from paying life on some sort of oh, ad nauseum or something, I guess, right? Alright, I'm gonna flash in a Notion Thief to draw a single sad card. <laughs> no! <laughs> a single sad card? I'm so, I'm really sad, to be honest. It's like you don't want me to have any fun. I think you had enough fun. Mm. My poor maze! It was so well, on theme. So Two mana swords, swords are very good. Oh, I forgot Indeed. it that Danathan oh, makes him cheaper. It instead of... Using stone forge, okay. I was very confused for a second. Have you got a counter spell? No, I'm, I'm not gonna. Oh, woof, woof. <laughs> when you said that, I thought you were like getting ready to, I don't know, negate or something. Oh, uh, what do I do? Save us, Tomer. Save us. I can't. <laughs> I'm like, I'm thinking about what I could like. Oh man, any exile of my graveyard. This is just oh, Denita not... has lifelink. Oh, you did Maybe... you really need that dizzy spell and? Preordain. <laughs> I'm thinking about what what I can tutor up right now, and it's not good. Uh, let me. I think I'm just I'm Ooh, gonna get like a compulsive teacher. research. What? Okay. I got it, nothing. Is, instead of dig, <laughs> instead of using that to dig for what you want, like bounce permanence or some kind. You know, like a um. Wait, yeah, well, whelming wave. We need a whelming wave. I can. Five mana, I, I'm a bit far away from a cyclonic rift. This is the problem. I don't. I wouldn't recommend casting compulsive research right now, though. That is oh. very. <laughs> no. Why did you tell? I, I was tempted. I was tempted not to say anything, Why but I thought I can't let that happen. You should cast it so I get the answers. <laughs> I, I will well, now, deal with this sword. Now I'm committed. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh, no, wait, why would you pongify? <laughs> Tomer really wants that can't... compulsive research. What are we going to do this why turn? Why <laughs> It can't pongify Denise, though. You should strip mine him, Richard. Send oh a message. Oh my god, yeah, maybe I should strip mine. Take up the round time. I need afterwards. to draw cards. I needed that devotion. <laughs> <laughs> I need to draw cards. Uh, Discard a land. Oh, of course. That, keeping off devotion means you didn't get Fenax online either. Oh, not that his hello. not that his body's that important, right? But... <laughs> Maze is everywhere. What? What? <laughs> oh, thank God. For right, that. Richard. Richard, are you ready for some politics? Oh, uh, what? You you want me to help you? Richard, you mine. can't help him. He strip has the best the deck at the table. You know this. He killed Notion Thief. Strip mine the maze, and I'll I'll make the pain go away. Right, you can't, I... Richard. You will lose to Rafiq. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just gonna sit here like a good blue no! deck with all my mana untapped. <laughs> oh, come on, lands. Ugh. Alright. I guess this could draw me into a land? I can't. There you oh, go. My notion thief would be so sweet. Why, well, it's over. I go, oh, I cool. made a punt and I had to recover, okay? <laughs> You Go are an honesty. Look, look at that ape token. 
It look, That's it's great. adorable. It's an adorable ape token. I've never seen it before. It's so good. Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, that sounds bad. Yeah. It really is for everyone except me. <laughs> it's like pro every... What, what, what does it not have? Oh, uh, white. Uh, that's a Lightning Greaves. That was a top deck. Well, I tried. Wait, how much mana does he have? <laughs> he has two mana? Well, he's going to untap all his lands. Wait, why is he going to untap all his lands? Because of Sword of Feast, Feast and Famine. Oh, oh. No, no, I mean right now. Oh, yeah, two mana right now. Oh, no! No! What's this? Please. Don't mana leak that! Please. Please. Uh, okay, we will... like Mystic Confluence. Oh, what is this? What is this UI? Yeah, it is Mystic Confluence. Sweet. No! So I can't bounce Denitha. I could bounce a beast token if I was feeling spiteful, but we'll, we'll just leave it. <laughs> I think spite is always I'll, I'll draw two cards and counter Lightning Greaves unless its uh, owner plays three, which he only has two mana. Okay. Are you ready for this Elvish Spirit card? Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that's, the sadness that's on good. the sack. All right, so that maze of it is happening, right, Silver? <laughs> yes! 100%. Right, you forced my hand. Oh. Stoneforge is gonna have to get into combat. I think you actually. I think you got a maze, Danitha. Wait, why um, Danitha? You mean Stoneforge? Is it? Or yeah, I think you want him to not untap the lands. I mean, I can chump Danitha, and then Stoneforge. Oh, and that maze works. Stoneforge. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, that makes sense. But that's my plan, you see, because now I have lots of blockers. <laughs> Excellent, I'm helping. And here, have some life. <laughs> helping group hug. None of this matters for when Seth just plays near-death experience in like three turns time and wins. This is true, but you're actively killing me now, so I can't plan for such a future. <laughs> well, if you stop mazing stuff, I'll hit, I'll hit Seth. Keep, I think you should keep mazing, personally. <laughs> <laughs> well, Seth can't block once the sword goes on, so... These, these creatures keep attacking me. I don't really have a choice okay, here. That's, that's true. I was only doing it because you got the maze, and the maze in some ways controls my game plan. Because mm. my game plan is very linear here. Because like, I can't even switch into like a, a value sort of get into the game other ways because my mana is so awful. But there you go. Alright, alright. Copy oh, maze. Oh, copy yes, maze. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing no else way. to do. Tomer's maze tribal over Yes, there. and this one survives the, the ping of the sword. <laughs> uh, Can I just point out, you, pl you, you have played three times as many mazes <laughs> as you've played Moon. <laughs> it's a maze deck. I have roughly the same about. I am amazed. Uh, Don't mill me, no. Uh, that's not what I wanted to get milled, but okay. Ooh. What if I told you I've got like a Sari, Sari, Eric's daughter, Sun Titan combo in this deck? Ooh. What if I told you that? That seems mm. possible. Mill and more and find out. This is interesting. Is there, is there plays now? How much more equipment do you think Vince has? A lot. <laughs> There's got to be a lot. I mean, it's you a don't run Danitha deck. if you're just running two swords. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Forge <laughs> Mystic for two swords. <laughs> Uh, Have you got a choir in hand? A choir? So, no. Funny enough, I was looking at the battle bond cards that were going to get released today, and mm. Fumble is one of them. Oh! That Did not have Fumble, Fumble really in the deck. Did not know today. we were playing a Voltron <laughs> deck either. Because there's also Grip of Phoresis or whatever it is as well, isn't it? Where you make a German equip all the equipments and steal, no, steal one of them. That card's pretty legit. Mm, I need to discard, but I don't know what I want to discard. Probably this white, which can't be cast because it just gets randomly shot by fire guys. Mm. Come on, Seth, you have to do something relevant to the table. <laughs> I, for the record, Seth has drawn. What more are you doing, Seth? I need a land. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to just pay down to five life with Wall of Blood. How so many I can flip lands this are you running? Fast. Like twenty. <laughs> Uh, what, flip the blood fast, then, then then sack the wall and go back to whatever? Yeah, I mean, yeah, eventually you'll get it to, to flip, and then you can tap it for black. Yay. <laughs> I need How many lands are you oh, running, Seb? Uh, I forget 37? Uh, this is not good. Oh, man. 
Richard. I'll go try again. Oh, God. Please. I got nothing for this. Oh. Oh. Just, just let it happen, kids. <laughs> just let it happen. Right. Oh dear. The moonfolk cannot, cannot stop this. Okay. The question is now: Who is the biggest threat? Other than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna I like say, that clarification. I think you should ping yourself with your sword of fire, nice. I feel like it's Seth. You've got eleven cards in hand. Oh, but only four lands on the battlefield. Oh, you have a reliquary tower. I'm like, you not How do you get eleven cards? I'm, I'm just jealous of the value, Seth. That's what it is. Uh, yeah. If I can eventually cast my hand, it'll be sweet. Right. Let's make you discard, Seth. See, Toma, I'm not that evil. Oh, now that I've frisky. been thoroughly <laughs> neutered by a cavern of souls and a swift boots foot boots, <laughs> now the moon folk will have their revenge. <laughs> yeah, I can't do anything about it. Do I spread it around or do I aim for one person? Like, hmm. Mm -hmm. If it's not, I'm gonna not me. Then wait, no, <laughs> no, aim for one person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is all this? Oh, thank you. What is oh. all this? You can have a land, but I'm just getting rid of the chance of you just randomly combo killing me. I am and the super table. okay with this. See? But I thought you wanted Friends. to lose life, Seth. I don't understand anymore. <laughs> I want I want to cast my cards, though. I swear, if you take your turn... He's you probably just got a wrath now. Use I've your greed a I'm going to double activate Bloodfast. Hopefully hit a land, a black source, so I can activate one more time and then pass. You'll make a clue token. You'll crack the clue token. <laughs> you cast the uh, mines. What's what's it called? The artifact that costs two, and then you can My, sacrifice mine it. stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll play your mine stone, crack it. Do you have mm. board wipes, Seth? Of course, I always have okay. board wipes. Ugh, that's what is that getting? Or, it doesn't have creatures. Though. I think it's just living. Oh, it's just there as that's uh, board that is wipe protection. It, it's called board yeah. wipe insurance. Yeah. Also, if uh, if Richard continues to mill me, then I get to just combo kill him or something. Or I'm bluffing. I don't have the combo, but who knows? So if one of you can deal with the Revlark, I can wrath next turn. I can maze it. No, Does like that count. Yeah, well, <laughs> if I if I just wrath all die at the same time, I don't but, understand. Uh, Stone they do, but the trigger goes in the stack. Back. Yeah. Oh. So I play my... oh man. What does it do? Can, uh, so I'll get okay. Stoneforge and Danitha back if it dies. All right. Well, my hand. It's is not lands. that brutal, but it's it's still something against Seth's incoming double white costed card that might deal with everything. I think I'll pass the turn. You know, keep my mana up. You know, threaten stuff and things. Possibly return a lane for just one mana and give a thing then back to Okay. I guess, I guess we're giving you stuff in your graveyard. Oh, that is that is bold. That is a bold move. Let's see if it pays it off. It is interesting with the river lark on the battlefield. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, my sure rank how, Is this no. the no. live angel? Like okay. Oh. Bullet dodged. Rank a bit of a nonbo with Feast and Famine, to be fair. However, I do... Oh, no, you can't even cast it onto the creature, can you? So you can't, like, just prowess off with it. What is this? I'm going to blue sun zenith thing. myself. Is this a what? You know, what, what yourself? Blue sun zenith. Ooh. What about me? What about me? Oh. Why is everyone drawing so many cards? By everyone, you mean everyone except you. Oh. Mm. <laughs> None of these <laughs> were the things I wanted. Oh, this is embarrassing. I'm gonna have to discard so many mm. cards. I need. I need. Oh, okay. Never mind. Ooh. Hello, Relic Fairy Tower. Everyone's got a Relic Tower except me. Oh, that's nice. Wait, I guess we can just double wrath, me and you, Seth. <laughs> double wrath would do it, yeah. Okay. That is a wrath. lot of wrath. Not I my think... moon folk! Wait, please is there... no. Gosh, should I continue milling him? Mm. <laughs> yes, is please. there something that'll be wrath resilient that comes back? Yes! Selfless spirit mm. or something? Possibly. Mm, but I need people with creatures. Something tells me it, Seth it's doesn't also, run creatures. It's also kind of... It has to be power two or less, right? So it only is like That's utility true. creatures. Yeah, right. I think Denise, it's safe. Well, you say that, but Denise only has two power, and she's done God's work. All right. And she's done, she's right, done we, well yeah. for herself. We're, we're going to go risky here, because ca yeah. I can't spread oh, out the mirror. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, uh, ooze. That is a... Ooze? I guess that doesn't ooze. actually stop a double wrath, but... Getting rid of sword is good. Sword number three. Can you get rid of the swords? Well, we With milled what? one. 
Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's how I do it. I was like, please, please get rid of the, the one that's protection from blue so my moon folk can do their business. Oh, actually, a swift with boots is also. Never mind. Never mind. All right. At least I can stop that ape. Oh. Ooh. I wish it's I a, had. Oh my eight god. Mana. That's a. How, how the tables will turn here. <laughs> Uh, How many cards are you gonna have? No responses. Hello. Uh, Stoneforge gets to tutor again. Uh, who has actual equipment removal? It has to be Seth with like a steer command. It has command. to be Seth. He has access to white. Yeah, I do have I do have a steer command. Not in my hand, but we can't block with all of these stupid swords. Oh no, another tutor. It's another tutor. I feel like I just have to get a sword out of principle now because of the amount of complaining about them. <laughs> <laughs> probably correct. Um, I'm probably just yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's go spicy. Right, I guess if we get rid of the boots, <laughs> Tomer still has double maze of it over there. <laughs> That's my only contribution to the game. <laughs> Lands in hand, maze of it's in play. Let's go. There are people with fifteen cards in hand right now, guys. Uh, Don't mind me with fifteen cards in hand. <laughs> it's a plunder great. All right, so Wrath is that pull from eternity in your graveyard? Yeah, just in case you exiled one on something important. That is interesting. It feels like a combo. <laughs> Toxic deluge. Oh, I'm one mana short of Skew surviving as well. Yeah, get get rid of those creatures. <laughs> Seems like Seth paid what, right about. What, what do, <laughs> is, is there anything in graveyards card. that's a problem? This is like a, like, a legit board wipe. Do I it's... do I exile like Mystic Confluence in case of like a snap caster, Ooh. or do I? You... Is there any reason to get rid of something else? You could get rid of my pull from Eternity. That would be kind of ironic. How about the Oboro <laughs> Envoy? <laughs> yeah. You know what? I don't. Uh, I don't think probably I have Notion I... Thief because the black. I don't have enough life. Has. Yeah. What did you because go? Because I'm after? assuming there's going to be some thief. sort of reanimation. And now we'll see if we can draw land. Oh my goodness. No. Seth is nope. very low on life. What? How many lands are you running, Seth? 37. <laughs> 37. 37. I don't believe you. <laughs> I think that's what it is. I definitely... It's... Did you just, like, accidentally not add any of your swamps or something? I think it, I'm just getting unlucky. Is it? Is it finally? Yep. Ugh, Rafiq. Oh. Aren't people just, like, dead now? Are we dead? Well, you, you no, got no, mazes. I don't have anywhere near enough mana. I can't no, but maze boots. Foot foot boots. Oh. Someone's going to take eight. Just a Seth, light you want eight. Lo you want low life, right, <laughs> Seth? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Yep. <sighs> I'm still not convinced you're not going to combo kill me. I would love to, but... <clears throat> <laughs> I would love to murder you. Right, up last turn. Uh, can anyone deal with the boots? Oh my goodness. Man, <laughs> why? What? Uh, what did I do, Ghost of Worth? What did I do? <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm did... one mana away from casting my commander. How? <laughs> that is, that's so funny that there's so few moon folk <laughs> <laughs> that you have to cut hard cast it for seven. Also, you know that it says you can cast it any time you can cast an instant. If I if I you... sacrifice a moon folk, yeah, yes. so I was going to do that with my envoy actually before it got but, horribly. But murdered. the green patron is bugged, by the way. The green one, the snake one, doesn't work at instant speed. So oh. I'm not sure if yours will. Oh. Well, it didn't uh, about a month ago when I filmed. So the you video mean the moon folk tribe got unduly nerfed? It, yes, <laughs> they were too. They're powerful. like fourteen is too many. We must create a game-breaking bug. I, I think mm. they'll they'll fix it though as soon as Seth wins GP a GP with it. So what is that joke? <laughs> what? I don't get it. I think it it actually goes back to oh the white thing the monarch. I was thinking the palace jailer. Yeah, palace because jailer. Because the palace jailer they had no intention of actually uh, coding in the monarch until it started seeing legacy play, and then they kind of felt forced to do it because people were like, well. That, like I said about Palace Yellow earlier, I don't know if we said that on camera, so for context people at home, we're talking about how certain cards from Conspiracy were never put into packs, or put into packs very late. I was campaigning for Palace Yellow to go in since like release weekend, because I was so keen to play it, and everyone on the on Reddit were telling me how bad I am, and how I don't know what I'm talking about, and then someone like Craig Wesker goes, actually no, the card's pretty good, then it like, yeah, it top 8 or won a GP, right, in the DNT list, and everyone's like, oh, maybe it should go in, but I still believe to this day that I convinced Wizards to put it in. 
It was all me, guys. Well, thanks, Vince. I appreciate it. Oh, I should have played Palace Shown in this deck. Could you copy the maze? <laughs> <laughs> I can copy the maze, too. There's no point until the, the boots and the everything are, are gone, though. It's not like the other two people are attacking, really. So the mazes are not very effective. I mean, if you think about it, I've picked Rafik, and we've seen f potentially four copies of a maze now. <laughs> So that's pretty brutal. So Tomer, if if I spend my entire turn not drawing lands, which I desperately need to get rid of Swift Foot Boots, will you will you protect me with your mazes? Yes. Okay. I don't think you should do that, Seth. Oh, look at this! Do you actually have a disenchant? What are you tutoring for two mana that can kill? Them? I hope he has a disenchant. Like a literal disenchant. I don't think it's literal disenchant, but. I'm going to respectfully plead with you not to do this. Oh, I, but you've been attacking me consistently. Uh, but I'll stop. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you know he still untaps all his lands and draws cards. Yeah, th everyone's going to die if I don't do this, unfortunately. So we're going to take... You, I'm just explaining that you are signing my death warrant. Once three mazes are online, I cannot win. Oh, you're, but I was, you're I, very far I mean, away from only, losing. It's only two mazes. I know I respect it. I get it. I understand that I'm a threat, so I'm not saddened or anything. If if you need to do it, yeah, I th I think I need to because otherwise I think I just like literally die next turn if you feel like doing that. So yeah, we're just gonna gonna vindicate. Huzzah! Counterspell. No I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate betrayal. All right. <laughs> the ultimate betrayal. <laughs> okay, Toma, Toma. It's my <laughs> my turn to rational try to rationalize with you now. Yes. Cannot. Do you give me permission to hit Richard? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I, I'm really afraid of your deck. So far, Richard... But the, okay, so here's here's my, my moral dilemma, is Richard always wins, but at the what? same time, your deck is objectively scarier than his at the moment. So do you want me to kill Richard first, and you can just maze me forever? I don't like where this is going. Kill him first... <laughs> You say. Because at this point, I'm not even making this up. Unless I can really get ahead. I don't have enough mana to like play multiple creatures. So I can't get around the mazes at the pre at present. So I'm so at the whims of anyone with mazes. And Richard's about to have a maze as well. So this is probably my last swing with Rafik for quite some time. Then so... he'll hatefully destroy one of my mazes with Strip Mine. <laughs> but then you've still got a maze! <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to destroy enough. both, by the way. I, let that be a stage, we'll copy a Strip Mine. <laughs> that, but it will be tapped. That's how, so Richard that's how King Vince make. wins. <laughs> yeah, no. Not with a bang, but with a with a king-making statement. I like can't. That. I can't. I can't lose my maze. If you didn't have the Strip Mine, maybe, but yeah. I think the answer is Hit Seth. <laughs> uh, Tomer already said he would protect. Oh yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna, it, he's gonna right. maze. Okay, we're 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 back to normal magic. I can't really do anything. Okay. The answer is. I'm hit just yourself. excited to play my commander next turn. <laughs> Wait, what does your commander actually do? Does it do scary? It's things? Patron on the moon. It will take the lands in my hand and put them onto the battlefield. <laughs> there are, there are combos with that. Can you go infinite in this deck? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I stuck to the Moonfolk deck. It's not a generic. It's not a generic combo deck. Not a good stuff deck with Moonfolk. This is a Moonfolk deck, folks. Oh, with fourteen. Stick it to my guns. With, with, with all fourteen Moonfolk. Not all. Of them. <laughs> There's one that mills. I'm some, not put that one some in. Some of the fourteen Moonfolk. There's like twelve. <laughs> that is the loosest definition of tribal. Excuse me. I'm putting twelve out of fourteen Moonfolk. <laughs> That's what? I don't even know the percentage. It's probably like 90. Hello. Mm. Hmm. Ah. Okay. I think this is the least <laughs> bad thing I can do this turn. Of all the least bad things. All the bad things I can do. No, nothing does anything at this point now. Oh. I'm all mazed out with nowhere to go. One mana colorless counterspell? No, I, I just want to tap out. Right. No swords equipped. Here we go. You you have the choice timer whether Rich take eight. You have the decision to make here. I cannot oh, sorry, afford no. getting my Nine, strip sorry. mines. Oh, you gotta maze that. Strip mine in. Maze, it's over. Wait. Let it hit him. Just mm. put them all in their respectful place and then win the game, Tomer. That's all I'm saying. He's gonna strip oh. mine me. I like how Tomer is like, playing this whole narrative in his head without anyone saying anything. <laughs> 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 Never have I threatened anything or anything. You it's... did. You said he strip mined me twice. No, I think that was Seth. 
Oh. Well, my fun's over. <laughs> you just need uh, lightning greaves. They're in the bin. You destroy both of them, guys. Oh. Collectively, Arch Enemy has got rid of both of my boots. Such is the fate of Voltron. Ben Kali. I gave it a good run. Oh, I'm so close to being dead. I won't, I won't feign ignorance on the, the extra attack step. What? There isn't one. Oh, is he removed? You're, you're, oh, you'll think of the you'll think of the enchantment. Well, he's now Battle doubly. Just gives life lick. He's double striking and doubly removed. I appreciate the. Uh, I really want to I make sure he that. was untapped for you. Thank you. So it's the little things I can do. All right, please not a land. Please. <laughs> you have please. nothing but lands. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's not a land. Mana, it's, mana we're getting there. I know it's awful should i play my is, is my commander going to die if i play it yes will it that would suck well yeah, the thing is i i'm so locked under your mazes i can't let your commander live well now i'm gonna have to play my hit the, the card i drew here Wait, we go how's he gonna kill your commander vencer's journal <laughs> i mean in my turn not now i don't, I don't matter right now oh wow for each card in your hand all two of them <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, you aren't quite nope. at Richard's level of opulence yet. Nope. <sighs> this is not how I drew it up, but I guess. Do I want a maze? I probably want a maze. I want a maze. We'll, we'll, we'll get a maze. Just just so that I don't get one shot by this Rafik if Tomer changes his mind. <laughs> oh? Oh? No, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> In response. I kind of want some defense. I don't think anyone needs it. There's three <laughs> mazes in play. Can you? Uh, oh. Just in case. We'll just I have this. Like, yeah. no, no one is ever dealing damage again. <laughs> just getting one by a combo. And that uh, combo unfortunate for the creature deck over there. Welcome to Commander Clash. We don't play, we don't play creatures here. What do you I'm think this is? A normal game week. of Commander? I'm scared of Seth winning, actually. No, but this is what's a, a weird... I am generally scared Seth is going to win. Combination. I still can't find lands. Has anyone ever seen his Against the Old Selenia video? <laughs> Land? Oh my god. Uh, are you guys going to kill me if I keep trying to draw for lands? <laughs> no one can kill you! <laughs> what? No if one can attack! I just watch on and mazes. I just die. The thing is, I need to draw some cards to draw something to get through the mazes or to be able to do something. Are you going to... I have mine. no access. Are you, are you going to kill me or no? Do I have to try to defend Who? my... Any of you? Well, I guess it's I mostly Tomer. You. Are you going to defend me, Tomer? <laughs> friends. Friends, right? Friends. That means yes? You're not going to let me die? It means we're friends. Uh. <laughs> it depends what spell you cast, right? Like, if you I want to I want to cast a Felwyr Stone, but if I tap down, then I'm at Tomer's mercy. <laughs> it's funny because I, I correct me if I'm wrong, but I've seen a lot of Commander Clash episodes where you have a Felidar Sovereign in play. There's. Are you the resident Felidar Sovereign player? I, I don't have I don't have any Felidar Sovereigns in this deck. We haven't. No, what I'm saying is there's. Yet. There's an, there's an irony that I believe of all the times I've seen it cast in Commander Clash, I think it's you. And then the irony this week is that you're here on nine life begging not to be killed. Right, I'm just I guess I gotta pass and Stomer <sighs> I mean, how do you even defend yourself now? That's what? my secret. He only has one <laughs> colored mana? What? Because I mean I, I, I defended you last turn because you blew up the the swift up boots. That was our agreement. Is He's got a plowshares or a cut or something. Yeah, he? I'm, but he can play can... the stone and plowshare. That's like a three banner spell. Oh, that's true. Yeah, feel free to attack. Oh, <laughs> blessed alliance. Oh, uh, huh? huh? well, he can uh? still blessed alliance. Edict? I don't know. I don't know. It's, a three it's probably a three mana edict tribute to hunger. Ah, uh, to now you're trying to kill me, Tomer. Oh, Tomer. No, I'm just saying. Tomer. I'm, I'm not not preventing your death right now. <sighs> oh wait, that's Ooh. an aura shards. With that is an yeah, shards. Blow up These those. Are real cards. Blow up some Benzer's journals, I say. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, let's not talk about my this. Journal. Is it the journal? Is it the training grounds? Or is it Argle's blood feast? I have seven life, how, or nine life. How many more times can I can I blood fast? Well, I guess we should so go to combat first. He wants the land. That's what he wants. 
Uh, Tomer, <laughs> Maze, you got those? Th they're going to go to waste, Tomer. You can't even tap them for mana. Uh, oh, interesting. <laughs> really? Wait, they're not going at me. What's the priority, I'm what's just, the I'm priority just saying, order this here? This is completely, completely Tomer and Rich's decision. I am just a force of nature at this point. <laughs> so I... I they're not equipped with, with, with swords. He's just straight dead, right? Good plan. No, actually, no, no. no. Just seven, no just oh, he goes to two. He's alive. Okay. He's yeah. fine. Maybe that I'm... enables him to kill someone, it's, it's though. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> it means Seth probably combo kills us next turn. Okay. But whatever. Two. I'll take it, I guess. Uh, I want to hit him with the wall to kill him somehow. <laughs> Ow. Did, I wish did, I had. He didn't go for the kill. Odd. I cut become immense before we started playing as well. I wish I had it right now. He could have equipped uh, a sword or something. I could have done, but then I assume I'll get mazed. Also, mana. I have a, I have a second main phase play. Oh, this is so not. You want it to be at two, right? <laughs> not looking. Well, near death experience is one, so almost. Uh, that journal is going. Is that That's a combo fine. piece? What does that do? No. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why is the journal going? Oh, it's not. <laughs> Because he's going to gain two, yeah. and then he'll draw a lot of cards for Blue Suns, then gain nine, and then I can't oh. kill him through mazes as it is, but if he's on 400 life, that's never happening. I, I don't think Training Grounds is a threat, right? I would, right? No, I, would right? Love, I think it's fine. I would love a Blue Sun Zenith. That'd be great. Like, weirdly, I think I've lost games with Commander 2 and Unanswered Adventures Journal, because people ignore it and think it doesn't matter. But the life gain's relevant, especially if you play creature decks. Oh, I just oh, realized what, half what of Tomer's deck. lands don't make mana because they're mazes. Oh, no. <laughs> Wonderful. I wanted that land so much. Hello, patron, patron of, of the moon. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Wonderful. Guys, 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 I don't know if you noticed, but I've almost got enough creatures to attack through these three <laughs> mazes and get this <laughs> one guy in. So close. That's why, I have the, that's why I have the patron. Extra backup. Oh, no. I am going to cast a very fair magic card. Please don't kill it. Oh, Ooh. I just spent that time. Oh, my blood fast was actually going to flip. I know. I, I was surprised <laughs> you didn't shard I've it. I've been waiting so many turns to get flip. a land. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I completely forgot uh, about blood fast stuff. To the counter. Oh, no. No way. Have you got two lands in hand? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hand not command zone. Yes. All right. Perfect. What? Yeah, Yahtzee. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. This is the worst draws I've ever had. It's awful. You got two mazes. You'd be dead otherwise. I. That's not. I, I would prefer that my deck actually did things than my deck trying to deny one person from killing me. Uh, that's Personally. Fair. That's fair. All right. Uh. Oh wait. Seth has. So Seth has a kill spell. Well, I'm gonna do it. So, Toma, are you regretting now not letting me smack Richard upside the head? Because he looks like in a very commanding position. Uh, no, because he would have double strip mined me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would have just died to your stuff. As you can see, I had only oh. lands in hand. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's a fair oh, card. Oh, wow. We're are you gonna Triska Decaphobias, or is this just because it's 13 toughness? Uh, it's just because it has a lot of toughness. All right, but you wouldn't be opposed to running Triskaidekaphobia. If I wasn't running, running but I'm running a mill deck. Uh huh. Oh. You say these things. <laughs> oh, Gordon Bennett. Are we gonna die? Uh, I, yep. As soon as he plays Eater of the Dead, we're dead. Because that's that combo. Well, someone's getting milled for twenty a turn anyway. Sorry, no, thirty-three. Sorry. That's a lot of uh, milling. That's a lot of milling. It's a fair amount of milling. Are you going to turn on Phoenix? Oh no, that's the combo! Are you do, do, kidding do. me? All right, oh, so are we dead? You have... I need, you to mill, I need to mill the most out of Vince, because he has the most creatures. Depends how many creatures you guys have. Oh no, yeah. Wait, that's how combo. does this work? If you have you any some, way of... You so can basically I tap, tap it, it to mill, mill, and then I can exile a creature from a graveyard to untap it. So I can mill if, four for each creature that's in a graveyard. If you have any what, answer, Seth, uh, you basically have you you. It, it's not even die. You have to you have to get rid of Phoenix right now. Yeah. I... Oh, sorry. No, but he can do it in response to the first activation, and then oh no, he can't. He can't. No, he can't. Yeah. He, once once it's on the battlefield, that's it. I I can't stop it. I can't. I'm gonna utilize the F six. Wait. 
Oh man, what a way to go! So, so I'll start milling Vince here. If only I had aura shot of one of his mana artifacts last turn, we might be okay. No, we're still. So then I exile scavenging news. Uh, to undo uh, it. Yep. I'm gonna do it again. On the upside, I've never seen this combo before, so that's kind of cool. Oh dear. And then I undo Revel Arc. I don't know if there's any fizzling from here. Well, well it he depends how many creatures, creatures you guys have. Yeah, he has to run I, out of I'm creatures. running 28 creatures. That's that's a lot. <laughs> I'm running a lot of Moonfolk, so. <laughs> 14 mo Moonfolk. Plus probably, what, 10 wizards? It's, it's 19 creatures, so. On the upside, this will make for a very enjoyable viewing experience for those at home. The editor will fast forward this. And as usual, Richard wins. Oh, just what like every learn? other season. What do we learn? But do do we know I, why? I Richard think won? the reason is Tomer. Can yeah, we just Tomer? Can we just Tomer would not use. To be fair, <laughs> your deck is you. really scary. Tomer would not use his mazes to protect me when I was at nine. But that was fine. He would that was fine. When he was <laughs> That's a very good point. It's a very good point. Because he had his two. Mine. <laughs> oh, I have to. Oh no. I I, I want to hide my deck list. Mine. Dun, dun, dun. I've never seen one strip mine. In, in response, I can see two mazes. Oh wait, this is the way I can fizzle. No, Vince oh, can yeah. If Vince can see to make a I, That's true. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine because Seth's at two life, so he has to cobble off. Oh, easy. Easy. When does turn Seth? In all fairness, though, I, I'm only scooping for the lols. I would have stayed in to make sure that Seth died. I, I hate people just scooping his <laughs> oh, to stop them and stuff. I, I only scoop because I wanted to hide my deck list. I'm gonna play, help play a different time. I wonder if milling you helps you get to your combo somehow. Isn't your deck? Hang on, isn't your deck list gonna be in the description? You're gonna be. Uh, I can hide it. You're gonna be milling lots of lands. I can tell you that. I I hid a, a deck list before. It was uh, show you the door deck. Uh, oh. Where you give somebody door to nothingness, you give them all the mana they need to activate it, and then you mind slaver them and force them to use door of nothingness on themselves. Wow. So show them, show, literally show them the door sort of thing. Yeah. Who who was the commander? Uh, it was Shroud of Alara. It, it ended up working, but... Uh, it sounds like it'd be better with Joda now, right? I think Joda would be better, yeah. Shroud of Alara was also just kind of like lands.deck, and it would just be board wipe blocking everybody, which seemed fine in my head, and it was very effective, but very boring to play against. So I won't be doing that again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Is this actually happening? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Seth, can, can Seth win? I, I mean, <laughs> Richard only has defenders, right? Well, either of the dead can attack, but... Okay, wait. But can't you still mill Seth out here? Yeah, but he still won't die. <laughs> as he, long do as you he, mill he out with the Gideon Emblem, or no? Oh, no, no, he's gone from a You're Gideon Emblem. You're going to have to, kill, now has to <laughs> kill Gideon eventually. But you have to... He has, as long as you can protect Gideon, kill Gideon from uh, kill Seth either of the dead and Phoenix... I mean, Why are you giving him 13 life? What? what? No, I, I'm oh, confused. Him. Oh, you milled him, yeah. sorry. I, I, think, I think I'm still going to die. I think still dead. Yeah. Can I kill as Gideon, as Gideon with Gideon you yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. so he mills you to zero, kills Gideon now, then pass the turn, right? If he can protect... If he can stop the Eater of the Dead attacking, and Phoenix can't... Can't, uh... Activate. Then there's a chance. <laughs> Attack Gideon. But also, if he just decks... Seth... And then pass the turn. Seth might not ever be able to do anything. <laughs> you have protection from everything. All permanents you control phase out. Can't kill that Gideon. But it doesn't doesn't phase his graveyard out though. Always like oh but you can't you Whoops. can't mill target player if you can't target him. Okay. You, you can't roll the spells in the stack. Oh yeah, that's yeah, true. But he missed. I missed. Missed out. Ha ha. Oh. Richard punt. I, don't ha, if, ha, 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 ha. I never punt. I don't ha. know if you guys like backseat driving, but I was thinking if you gave Seth no library, he'd probably struggle to that, win. Yeah, We're that, basically that makes two sense. commentators right now. Um. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, sweet. I should have put more commentation voice on. I'm going to uh, leave a really nasty comment about the fact that Richard didn't uh, mill in response. Throwing the game. Here All we have right. Richard. Let's see what Seth can do. Well, Seth, everything phases in. He has 12 cards in hand. Two life. <laughs> oh, very nice play. Wait, what did you Protecting prevent? Protecting the Gideon. The eater? 
No, no damage from either of the dead. Prevented I don't think I can do anything else. Richard either has to oh, yeah, have a either. creature of haste or phoenix hmm. attacking. Can Seth get there? I'm a little, a little light on mana still. You're gonna be a little light on libraries in a minute. Interestingly, Seth has still been mana screwed despite drawing <laughs> oh, most of his deck. Wait, I forgot. I need to strip mine him. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Can I do anything? No, 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 you have to keep the strip mine up to stop Toma from... Because it's a good incentive against Toma. Perhaps if you keep it in this game, you still want to do it next game as well. Because he's so scared of that strip mine. Your deck was scary, alright, Rafik? And all you could have let me kill Richard first. Just kill Richard, and then we could have moved on, and none of this would have happened. He said he could kill both my Maze of his. I don't think he could have, Oh, but... this is bad. He could have done it slowly. Well, if he survived. If you if you killed him in one oh. shot, then I would have lost both my Maze of Its, and then I would have lost you 100%. No, because what would have happened is he would have tapped his... his, his um, that's what he said, to copy the strip mine, and then I would have just stabbed him in the head for like 30 damage or whatever it was at that time. Would he have killed him? We were getting there, because we're Rafik plus the two swords, um, plus double strikes. Mm. What's that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10 from the angel, that's 20 plus 2 shots from fire and ice, that's 24 so we were very close from the game, like maybe 2 shot in then, but... I, then I stand by oh no, I had, I had, the, I had the flail in hand I had the but he also, hand. Has, he also had blockers I... no he didn't oh oh yeah, blue and green yeah, blue yeah, and but black. I had the protections but, and he didn't yeah. have one at the time so plus, con plus the flail, I could have probably hit him for, for I think it was 44 or something like that then it, it, but then, uh, it would really depend if he copied the Maze of Vith or not. If he didn't need to use it, if he had any sort of spot removal, then he would have double strip mined me and then I would have just lost to you. So I'm not quite sure. That might have been me too cautious and I probably would have done it in hindsight, but at the same time, if I lost both my Maze of Vith, I would have just lost to you. No, that's fair enough. I guess what I'm saying is if, if you know a player is prone to comboing out, perhaps let the aggro player kill them. True. <laughs> That's my strategy. <laughs> I don't think there's any way I can actually win from here. I might be able to not die for another turn or two, but... It, don't you just play your commander and then hit him to death? That does seem like a, a possibility. It's it's only a, a, what's that, a 12 turn clock. Well, there's also like repaying kind, there's near-death experience. Probably, probably that's your best bet, near-death experience. Drop on the battlefield, get down to one life total. And, uh... Yeah. That way? We kill think... Gideon. Oh, well that's not happening. Yeah, I think I think that does it. Good game, good game. Oh. I wanted to build the last cards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do want to point out that uh, Fenax managed to win that via attacking, which is not commonly seen. That's a He finally a good point. got there. He got off his throne, played the smackdown the old fashioned way. I respect that. Fenax punching a Gideon to death was not how I expected that <laughs> game to end. Excellent. Well, that was the first game of the season. I think it went quite well. Um, let's hear from the victor, Richard. How'd your deck go? How do you like? What do you like? What do you not like? Pretty what well. Things? Uh, it was good that Vince took all the heat. Tomer defended me for no reason. And uh, I managed a Cyclonic Rift. <laughs> just, just blame it all on me. All right. That's fair. All to right. be fair, it wouldn't have mattered. If Vince hit me with the Rafik... Removal? Uh, I would have just taken it. It, it wouldn't matter if he equipped his swords. I would have cyclonic rifted that turn, so it didn't okay. matter too much. But it was did, still did, funny. Did you have the? Did, did you have the mana that I time? did. So then he would okay. have double strip mined me, and then I would have been dead. No, no. So the the very first turn he would have hit me, but then the, the later turns where he had Rafik out with the two swords, I I had cyclonic rift up in case anything went terribly awry. Uh, but good old cyclonic. Good rift. old triple maze of it against the creature deck. <laughs> Against the Voltron actually, creature deck. For, for, for the record, for the record, it was actually four mazes because of the first one that had to blow yeah, up, the and then there's a potential the fifth because of the Festivian <laughs> stage. So we could have had five mazes if we wanted to really, really go to town. So this is the second time we've seen Rafik, as as, as far as I know. Uh, this one seemed quite had like quite a lot of gas. Had the swords. Had a lot of the tutors. Uh, came out of the gate swinging. Uh, it seemed like it, it, it did quite well. You said that it had a long-term plan, though. Um, if it if the aggro got initially um, stopped, so did you have like an alternate game plan, an alternate win condition around? So all yeah, the, so the I wasn't. Mazes? 
so I wasn't playing combo or anything like that, like I joked about. I was just bluffing with that. But the, I, I, I like to play... My, my archetypal way of playing Magic is like green green and white and a bit of blue, like value decks and deck fucking grind. Mm-hmm. So like this deck has uh, Mole Drifter, Revel Arc, Sun Titan. It's got a Benser, the Sojourner in it to bounce and flicker those things as well. So it's got a way to just grind out incremental advantage. Normally after you've killed like one player, I guess I'll transition into that while I'm trying to fend off the other two from all the eight. The problem was that I only drew a few cards drew not a whole lot of gas because I kept drawing more equipment stuff but what I really needed was more bodies and utility and then um, yeah I saw uh, four mazes and uh, the, the funny thing is as well just, just to point out I should have I should have showed you guys at the end of the game actually I had a Frexian Metamorph in my hand the turn before I lost my uh, Greaves and I was very tempted to make a second copy of the boots but I didn't think anyone had anything. They're like, nah, they wouldn't have Seth. that much hate. Yeah, and then Seth had the tutor into the disenchantment, of oh, the Vindicate. Right. So, yeah, I, I mean, but then that's hindsight's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Perhaps making a second copy of Boots, knowing my footsteps were dead. My other plan was to try and draw into Sun Titan to recur either, um, to eventually recur a strip mine or a wasteland of my own to blow up those those um, mazes, or just to recur the Boots to try and get in again. But I just ran out of gas. Well, I mean, the deck still seemed very resilient. Like, the only reason why you got shut down was not just the mazes. You had answers for the mazes with Swift Foot Boots and Lightning Greaves. But the fact that you had the mazes plus the disenchants for your boots and then zero recursion uh, just being drawn into. So, I mean, I feel like your deck was well, well positioned to deal with some amount of removal. It was just that we all basically treated you as arch enemy because he did come out of the gate swing like yeah. there are combo yeah, well, decks but like it definitely the, felt that way at that time definitely yeah and, and, and the mindset for me at least is there's combo decks and you know they're going to win the game out of nowhere however when there's like a Rafik who has swords in play and has like a crazy board state you you can't just let him do his thing because you're also drawing cards in the mix too you're untapping all your lands you're going to be maybe getting into a board state where we actually just can't deal with you once once you do kill like one or two people, because you're also yeah, in definitely. blue, so you could also just have counter magic, like. But interestingly, I would say that I believe I we we'll have to check the video back, and someone in the comments can tell us. But I think I drew less cards than both Seth and Richard, thanks to Blue Suns and Argos Blood Feast. It is true. It, it it seemed that way at least, yeah, because your your main the, the, source was the sword. The, the last thing I'd like to say about my deck before we move on and, and let someone else talk, so I like to ramble, is that. I probably had the wrong game plan, so normally when I try to play Rafik, I try to not be the arch enemy initially, or look a bit less um, suspicious. So normally I'd try and like slowly roll out, and then try and go for a big swing and go on from there. But what happened was, when we had to restart the game, Toma, um, I went to a hand where I just I had to... We're gonna be using that <laughs> I, I, all I could do, because my mana was so bad, was Denithia and the sword, the fire and ice. Mm. And then luckily fire and ice drew me into more gas, and like so forth, etc. So yeah, I, I was kind of boxed into that plan where in reality I'd much rather I know cast a planeswalker and then eventually just go Rafik uh, haste equipment hit you for like 12 or whatever and then start being down mm. oh Rafik Rafik Voltron strategies in general they're always like they always get some hate on them so you gotta like the politics is, is very finicky there but I, it looked like it, it was a good showing it looked like it had a lot of resiliency it was just that uh, some poor draws plus Four mazes plus. Yeah, yeah. I think my draw was solid, but I think chance. other people's draws yeah. were just quite co- coincidentally very good. Yeah. <laughs> so we we saw one deck that clearly was co- trying to combo off and and had a had a great last stand at the very last <laughs> without getting in, but just not quite enough. Uh, I, Seth, I saw you were very mana screwed. That was kind of like the name of the game for the early to mid game. You're just drawing a, a crazy amount of cards, but you just couldn't get enough land drops. Uh, what was your game plan going forward? What would you have done if you um, had enough lands? You were hitting your land drops uh, normally. Yeah, that was that was kind of an awkward draw. So I not only did I not hit my land drops, I didn't hit any mana rocks either. And I also, like the perfect storm, happened to draw all my expensive cards. So... If things went according to plan, you kind of figured out some of it. I do have near-death experience. That's one part of the plan to just get down to one life, hopefully win the game that way. Then I also have a lot of ways to, like, take advantage of being at low life where you have cards uh, like 
repay in kind, reverse the sands, things that like redistribute life totals or put everyone down to my life total. And then hopefully if I could like, I had in my hand repay in kind, which just puts everyone down to the lowest life total. So everyone would have went down to two or one. And then I have like pestilence demon, which was also in my hand to just ping for one all while hopefully keeping myself alive. You saw the Gideons, <laughs> but there's also like Frexian Unlife, um, Platinum Angel, Exquisite Archangel. So a lot of ways to not die if I end up going to zero too. So that's kind of the idea of the deck, basically just low life shenanigans. And uh, But I just couldn't cast any of the expensive stuff. And I think maybe that's that's one of the problems perhaps with the deck is I have cheap removal and good removal, which you get from white and black. I have good tutors, but all of my payoffs are like six mana, seven mana, eight mana. So they're just like really expensive to do the powerful stuff. So if it stumbles on mana, then it's not going to do too well. Yeah, and that was, like, a little unfortunate, because I did draw, like, a lot of extra cards and just, like, could not find the lands. But, yeah, it's not a deck that's going to function very well if it doesn't hit its land drops and hit its ramp. Well, this does mean that Selenia still has not managed to succeed on Commander Clash, and that does mean that she's probably a good candidate to bring back on a Revenge Week at the very least. Like, she does a lot of cool things that are very unique, um, just a life life uh, shenanigans aspect of her is something that you don't really get to see in many other decks. So yeah, she is a good candidate. I, Either you or I need to run it again. I could definitely see playing it again. I think it, I don't think it's a very competitive deck. Like the idea of the deck's pretty janky, uh, but if it ever does its thing, it's going to win in like a really spectacular and unique way. Well, uh... I was generally terrified, by the way, just to start, because of the fact, because of the black. I think it's the black part of it. When you had that wall, and I, like I joked about the near-death experience, I just, so I just had visions of you just going demonic tutor near-death, play it, and like wait. I don't know if you win on the spot or an upkeep or whatever. So I think it's the black component that allows you to do all the tutoring that makes me just terrified that you're going to win. Mm-hmm. And I think that skewed some of the decision making that I made in the game as well, where I was playfully hitting on Toma, but then I ended up going, actually, do you know what? I need to try and deal with Zep. I- and um, I, yeah. I think that was actually a good call. Like, the deck isn't very good at winning immediately, but it does have a lot of ways where you can set up to win, like, on your next upkeep and stuff. So I don't, I don't think you were wrong to be scared. Out of all the decks at the table, uh, except for Richard's, apparently, which I didn't even know was a combo deck, but I thought that my deck was the one most likely to just randomly win out of nowhere. So I guess I was kind of right, but ultimately I was just uh, horribly, horribly misjudged it and died to Fenax. <laughs> uh, we all well, we that all one did. combo? Is that, well, two combos, apparently. But yeah. Uh, that was, that was tough decision makings in this game. I'm sure YouTube will have uh, very harsh criticisms on all of us, uh, on our on our judgment, or at least just me. But uh, yeah, it, it, was, it was tough to, to figure out. Like, Rafik is definitely the arch enemy early on, and you don't want to let Rafik just run away with the game. Especially if they have like a follow up, if if they have like counter match like backing them up or something. But at the same time, you, combo decks need to be uh, pressured, or else they'll just randomly combo off. And it was... but combo decks are even better when they can pretend not to be combo decks. Yeah. <laughs> well, some of them, yeah. Sometimes they have a, a main a main plan and then a combo backup. Of we'll never know with Phoenix. Richard just always wins. I think that's just like the the thing to remember is Richard. Always hey, wins. hey, Phoenix Only got in the red zone. Protect him, Toma. <laughs> I stand, I stand by my decision there. I don't want to lose my business. Anyway, uh, so my deck, uh, I'm not going to mention too much about it because I am going to hide the deck list and uh, I'm going to run it back for a revenge or something. But Moonfolk are not really strong. They're overpriced and their abilities are kind of bad. But at the same time, there is there is some indirect tribal support. You saw the training grounds. Um, a lot of the abilities on the Moonfolk cost three or more mana. Um, so that can bring it down to one in most cases. And at that point, those abilities get kind of good. Um, I have some abilities to put extra lands into the battlefield, like Patron of the Moon. But I also had Walking Atlas and a Terrain Generator and a couple other ways to kind of like get around that disadvantage. And then I have a little bit of Landfall Synergies and all that stuff. And I have some Secret Spice. That That's the reason why I'm hiding the deck list is there is some Secret Spice of the deck. It's very Moonfolk supporty, but it's also really, it feels really cool to, to pull off. Um, it's not a combo, but it just has like some really cool synergies that I, I want to... Can I ask one question? Yeah. 
What what were your landfall synergies? Because I was going to ask you that during the game, but we got distracted. Have you got, have you got any sort of decent lands at the battlefield triggers within blue that like have that are basically a payoff for that? Well, there's there's two that I found. There's Royal Elemental, which is by far the best. Um, That's very good. Yeah, it's landfall trigger. Is it basically takes control of a creature um, each time a land enters the battlefield, as long as Royal Elemental is on the battlefield. And then there's a Sphinx. That basically, whenever you cat, whenever you put a, an island into play, uh, you can tap a creature, and it doesn't untap on its next untap step. So it's a very good uh, defender and also a way to just clear out uh, room for attacking. Um, otherwise, not a lot of landfall trigger. <laughs> cool. Not in okay. not in That's not cool. in the mono blue, but yeah, it, it has some. The deck the deck isn't really strong, but it does some really unique things. I didn't get to do that unique the unique things this time but i really want to pull it off at some point it's kind of like on my bucket list it's kind of like my cauldra my next cauldra to do um so hopefully i can assemble it in a future game and maybe i'll cut uh, some of the moon folk and uh you know add some better cards to, to get me there but yeah uh i thought the deck the, the deck was pretty cool and i'm excited to try it out again and i think that wraps it up for this episode this is episode one for the season and I think we're off to a good start. So hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, everyone, see ya. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up with the latest and greatest, click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to check out similar videos, click on the links here and here.